Hey there, this is Faison. I just wanted to do a follow-up video to uh, uh, my last one about trying to make a an xlib window move with key presses. Um, so, sort of a recap here. Let's run here. The, the issue I had was when I used my arrow keys, it somehow uh, put x11 into this whole, like, I have this window grabbed with my mouse mode which then made it so my code doesn't even really matter. Uh, it's not moving this by 10 pixels at all, it's just moving it by however much X11 wants to move it by, which doesn't really do what I wanted it to do. And if we look at the code, the, the sort of rabbit hole I was going down here was this thought of, well, hey, if I, if I want to make a full screen window, which I don't have the code here, let me... Uh, if I want to make a full screen window, I have to I have to throw uh, a, a net wm state event with the state full screen in here in order to tell the window manager, hey, I want this to be a full screen window, so please make it that for me. So and sort of in that whole like when you have a hammer every problem starts to look like a nail saying um, my first thought when trying to think of how to go about moving a window with the keys was to well take this new hammer I have of using uh, using these client message events to try and try and move this window and, and by move it I mean tell x11 hey I would like you to move this window for me so in the uh, in the documentation where I found the full screen stuff, I found this uh, WM move resize, which did not work at all. So after making that video, I did some tests, did some searching, and after about 20 minutes, I I found out that I'm really silly because there is just a straight up function called X move window. And, uh, yeah, if we look at that real fast, X move window, you pass in your display, you pass in your window, and you pass in the X and Y coordinates that you want the window to be moved to. Very, very simple. Very, very easy and, uh, feeling kind of silly. So, if I just, uh, can show you that working now. If we just go ahead and uh, get back, that's not get check out master. Here we go. Uh, go ahead and compile this and run it. Now, look at that. The mouse is still doing whatever the heck it wants to do, but now this moves with the keyboard. And actually, I wonder what happens if I grab this and click. Uh, that's kind of fun. Oh, oh, weird. Okay, never mind. It doesn't quite work that way. But yeah, so there it goes. It was really that simple. And uh, yeah, all of the uh, all of the work that went into uh, trying to do this just completely replaced with uh, just a with a call to where is it? Call to X move window. Uh, but this would be pretty pretty lame video if I just stuck with that. So thought I would quick show you what the code looks like after changing it. So uh, here's where it starts. So first, I um, want to track the x and y position so we can easily tell the tell say where we want the window to go. Um, but in order to actually get the initial position of this window, um, we needed we needed to like do some translations basically. Um, so every every window in X11 uh, has its own like relative internal like uh, coordinates essentially. Uh, zero zero being the top left corner. Uh, but what we 
when we move this, we're actually moving it based on like a, a zero zero of the the whole screen. So even though this is zero zero, if we want to move this to like zero ten, which would be here relative to where this was initially, what will actually happen is it would jump all the way over here. That's that's not so great. So after like one Google search, which is what I should have done originally to get this, uh, I found this function here, x translate coordinates, uh, which I would say the man page is the most descriptive on this one here, but it's worth looking at. Uh, let's see, it's just basically uh, you, you pass in your display, uh, you pass in the source window. Uh, what the source window is, is the, the window that has the x and y coordinate that you want to translate. Then you have the destination window, which is the window that you want to translate the source x and y positions to. Uh, in our specific uh, scenario here, this window is the source, and then the the source window, and then the entire screen is actually the uh, the destination window. Uh, then you pass in the source X and the source Y. For this window, what we care about is the top left corner here. So we're saying 0, 0, as you can see in the code right there. And then uh, you can pass in here, in, in order to actually get your return X and Y value, you have to pass in, uh, pass in the address for, uh, for two integers for your X and your Y. And then there's this final thing here, child return, which I, uh, let's see, returns the child if the coordinates are contained in a mapped child of the destination. I have no idea what this means, and I don't need it for what I'm doing, so I'm ignoring it, and maybe one day I'll try to figure out what that even means. But for now, uh, I don't care about it. But you get a segment, uh, a seg fault if you don't at least pass something in here, so... That's what this guy is, but we don't care about that. All we really care about is fastening the display, the window, uh, the default root window of the display, the top left corner of the, the application window, and then addresses to the, the integer variables that will eventually hold our initial position. So that gives us our starting coordinates. And then if we hop down to our left key click and our right key click right here, uh, the code has become much simpler. We just uh, you know, decrement position x by 50 and then call x move window. Or on the right click, increment by 50, move the window. Uh, and just for comparison, uh, Yeah, for comparison, we, we called X send event, so it wasn't too too much more in here. But again, this had the, the backing of this giant uh, giant X event here. So, I could stop at just that, but why don't we have a little bit more fun? Uh, right now, this window can only move left and right, which isn't too much fun. Also, I don't know if you saw that, but if I move it manually on the X and then click, it hops back down. I'm not going to deal with that, but one thing that would be nice is if, uh, you know, I'm pressing up and down, it would actually move up and down. So, let's just add that in since it's pretty simple here. Um, so, we just need another section here. I believe it's just uh, XK up. And it will fail hard on us if... Uh, that isn't right, so let's just give it a try. And then, uh, you know, in, in most programming, uh, the y coordinates it starts at the top at zero, and then the number goes up as you go down. So, in order to go up, we actually have to subtract. I'll make it 50 just to match the other thing. And this code could be less repeaty, but you know. That's a task for another day. Let's go ahead and add the down, which will be adding 50. And let's go ahead, quit out of this. 
recompile and run. Now left and right still work and now up and down work too. So yeah, that is that is the conclusion of me figuring out what the heck was going all funky with the uh, in the last video. So, all right. Well, again, hope this video was useful in some way. Thinking of maybe doing some other videos to actually show uh, what I've done in these other portions of, uh, of my learning of Xlib, uh, just because it might be useful. I think I've only seen one uh, one playlist out there that has uh, Xlib with C code for setting up Windows and doing stuff. So, might throw my hat into that ring. We'll see. But until then, though, I have a good one. Take care.